Hi Mega Man, this is Kobe Paras and I'll be showing you guys the meanings of my tattoos. I used to be very insecure about my body growing up, especially my parents being artists here in the Philippines. So a lot of people would tell me I look skinny, I look too fat, I was too tall. When I was a kid, I was thinking about getting tattoos and when I was in college, you know, I had the opportunity to get my first one. So when I got my first one, I started feeling very comfortable around myself and around people. The first tattoo I got is, um, is on my Achilles. It is a number eight and 24 for Kobe Bryant. Before lockdown, he passed away and, you know, my name is basically from him. I felt like it was, it was right to have a first tattoo, you know, respecting Kobe. The last tattoo I got is this whole sleeve. Um, I wanted to get a sleeve inspired by the Philippines, so it has the Philippine eagle, a calabao, a turtle, and a perlas. And I have Lapu Lapu here, and I have the national anthem on my bicep. The biggest tattoo I have is the first sleeve I got on my left arm. So it is a mix of being in LA and a little Bahai Kubo in a wave to represent the Philippines. And my grandma passed away during lockdown. I got her last message on my bicep and an angel. Look at the message um, symbolizing her. The smallest tattoo I have is this letter K. It's a king of hearts. I was drunk when I got it, so I do not remember getting this. My favorite tattoo is my grandma. It's on my thigh. Like what I said earlier, she passed away a couple days after my birthday during lockdown, and I had no chance to see her. I just got this tattoo um, in memory of her. The worst tattoo I have is on my hand again. Like what I said, I was drunk when I got it, so I do not remember anything or the process of it. Um, my tattoo artist is coming next month, so I'm gonna get my chest done. I already know my parents are gonna kill me, but it's fine. I'm getting a mang sasaka and a mangingisda on my chest. So I'm just gonna complete the Filipino-inspired theme. This has been Kobe Paras for the Mega Man Collector Series. See you guys.